Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Stitch and Style by me, Nadia. What I thought I would do is document me making my um, first bikini or swimwear. It's the Sandpiper swimsuit from Helen's Closet that I've gone for. And I do like the idea of a two-piece, but um, I wanted kind of maximal coverage. I'll put the line drawings up here. It either comes in a version which is a little bit um lower waisted or you can have the high waist and i've gone for the high waist and i've cut them out now i've gone with my measurements i've got the measurement chart here so you can see so I've, as you can see i've circled my measurements um to make sure they were correct i retook my measurements when i did this um before i cut them out which I would recommend doing because your measurements can go up and down, can't they? Depending. And they do um, different, either a B cup or a D cup, um, into size bands. And I'll put the details of the size bands up here for you to see. And I'm um, going for the B cup. I think I actually have an A and a half cup, but at my current kind of measurements, I can get away with a B cup. So I'm not having to do a small bust adjustment just at the moment. So, yeah, in terms of my size, so you can see here, done size 12. So I'm size 12 on the upper bust, size 12 on the full bust. Under bust, I'm a size 10. For the waist, I'm a size 12. And then for the hip, I'm a size 14. So I've graded between the sizes. So I've made the top bit in a size 12, but then graded to a size 10 underneath the bust um, and on the bottom band um, underneath the bust. And then for my bottoms, I've graded to size 30 or size 12, sorry, at the waist and then graded out to a size 14 at the hip. So I've also done a sway back adjustment, which is my usual adjustment, and I added some length. Now let's see how much I added. I didn't add any length to the top pattern. I don't feel like I need any additional length between my shoulders and my under bust, but I need some extra length between the waist and my crotch. So just for an example there, you can see that I've kind of drawn a line and graded there to the size 10 at the top. So on the bottoms, I've added actually three centimetres. And then you can see here, I've done a sway back adjustment. So I've just taken some of the, oh, it's on that side. So I've done a sway back adjustment. So I've just taken out two centimetres here um, at the centre back. So what Helen recommends if you've not done um, a practice, which this is kind of a practice, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll end up with um, a finished garment I can wear. I'm not 100% sure. So all I've done is I've cut out the pieces. So I've cut out a lining and I'll show you the lining. It's just in this um, navy kind of blue swimwear that I got um from like the bargain bin at Abercorn's and um, I've got I've got this as my main fabric um, like a snake skin material it's got quite a bit of stretch hmm, it's not got too much stretch that way actually it's got quite a bit of stretch on the cross grain I've cut out the lining I've not done anything with the lining yet um, I've just put the front and back pieces, bottom and top together at the shoulders and at the side seams. On the crotch seam and on the side seam of my bottoms. Here we go, there's my bottoms. So what Helen tells you to do once you've um, got these sewn together is to try them on really carefully, being really careful not to stretch them out. So I did that and I've tried these on. Now, um, the these are coming up quite high, uh, which obviously I wanted. They might be a little bit too high, and I did get some excess material bunching at the back. So I actually cut off another centimetre at the back, 
I am pleased with how they fit. I probably would like a little bit more compression. Helen says, you know, it's totally personal preference as how close fitting people like them, how much compression, you know, you like. And I think I like quite a lot of compression. Um, I like to feel like I'm being held in. So um, I might even be able to take these a little bit smaller. I don't know. They are looking a little bit cheeky. Um, so yeah, <laughs> maybe I need a little bit more coverage over my bottom. We'll see. Um, but I'm just going to sew them up as is now and just then use it to assess fit for the future ones. I've got quite a bit of swimwear um, I've been collecting. The other thing that I wanted to mention was over my overlocker. Now, I'd initially sewn these together on my sewing machine and uh, I kept finding that the fabric was getting pulled into the um, plate, into the feed dogs. And my machine really actually didn't like sewing um, up this material. And um, I wanted to do it on the overlocker. So the other thing that I've been thinking about for a while is to actually use stretch needles on my overlocker. It's something that I heard on the Love to Sew podcast quite a while ago and I think it was Caroline on there who was talking about she changes from stretch to woven needles on her overlocker which I'd never even considered before but with this material and sewing swimwear for the first time I thought I know I'm going to change my needles to these super stretch needles that I've got I think they're Schmetz needles and put those in my overlocker yeah public service announcement if anyone's got these um the, I've got a brother overlocker it's the um the cheapest overlocker that I could find it's um a brother um M343D um, and I got this when I was pretty new to sewing it was actually sat in the box for six months before I worked up the courage to use it um, but it's been quite it's quite I mean it's quite noisy but it's been a bit of a workhorse for me really so can't complain about it too much so I went if you've got a brother um, one you perhaps know you've got a little tool to remove the um clamp that goes in above the needle and you loosen that off and then you take out the needle I think it does tell you in the instructions to be careful not to remove it entirely but guess what I did I removed it altogether and then I was trying to hold the needle in and get the little screw back in and I was faffing around with it for ages and then the little screw fell off into the overlocker and I can't find it. I mean it's absolutely tiny anyway and it's black and um, yeah I've not been able to find it although it has meant that my overlocker has had a really thorough clean and I oil it as well so it's nice and oiled and everything so because I couldn't find that little clamp thing I had to order one and I ordered one from I think it's called cooling I don't, if I've not got that right I'll put it up here um sewing machines and um it cost about a fiver for two of these little um screws and um a couple of pounds for postage and packaging and yeah they arrived this week and I thought do you know what <laughs> don't try and put the needle hold the needle up and screw it in at the same time just let's try and get the screw in um, concentrate on that um, one job at a time so I was able to do it first time so I've got two super stretch needles in my overlocker ready to sew up the rest of this swim um costume, swimming costume so um this is the elastic i've got which is um hemline and it's salt and chlorine resistant and there's 2.5 meters in there which i think will do one swimming costume so i might have to buy some more of that 
um, I was pretty sure I had some, but I can't find it. Anyway, that's a lot of rambling. And I hope you found some of that useful if you're going to make your own swimwear. So we're coming up to something else. So, um, and this is one of my make nine actually. So it'd be one ticked off my make nine if I can get these done. So I thought I would just document the process um, of me making them. And um, I'm not going to show you everything. I've not really got the right setup for all that. But um, after I've done a couple of more steps, then I'll show you where I'm up to and how I found it. So I'll catch up with you in a minute once um, I've done um, a couple more things. I think I just have to do the same with the lining next um, before I have to tackle um, swimwear elastic. So wish me luck. Okay, so I've done the same thing with the lining and um, attached the top and the bottoms together at the side seams and um, shoulder and crotch seam and so, oh yeah, sorry, you just, <laughs> maybe you've noticed that my um, fingers rocked up. Um, yeah, I had a bit of an accident with my rotary cutter um, yesterday. I actually put it on Instagram and people sent me such lovely messages. So thank you if you're one of those. So I've put the lining together um, and you press the lining towards the front. The other thing that Helen tells you to do is different um stitch widths um for your zigzag um for your machine but i'm using the overlocker next step is to put them together wrong sides together pin them and um baste them together with a medium zigzag you can see here i'm just gonna lining them up um, and we're just going to pin them together. So I'll line them up at the seams and first before then I pin the rest of them. And the idea is because you've pressed the outside to the back, the seam, and the um, inside to the front, that you just don't get as much bulk. So I'm just, just going to pin this together. And I'm just going to make sure they both go through the seams so the seams are lined up. Right, so I better concentrate on this because I'm like, oh, it just started bleeding actually. That's why I've just put this like bandage type thing on. I'm allergic to plasters, so um, I can't put a plaster on it. I've sewn the lining to the outer material. Um, around the leg opening and the waist opening and so that's all done there are still quite a few skip stitches even though I am using a super stretch needle can you see that it's there's a few skip stitches there looking okay so far so let's get on and do the same with the top the top piece is now all basted together with the um, wrong size together of the outer and the lining. So looking good. I'm actually enjoying this process. It's actually quite fun. Right, so now it tells you what size elastic you need for the arms, the legs and the neck. And if you do view B, which is the lower waist um, bottoms, then what you need for that but I don't need to but I'm doing the um higher waist one so I don't need any elastic for that part so we've got for a size 12 I'm going to cut a size 12 apart from I suppose apart from the leg opening where I need a size 14 so 17 centimeters I'm assuming this is oh no inches 17 inches for the neck I need one of those I need two 18 inches for the arm and two 19 and a half inches for the leg so yeah and she gives you a tip here about writing on because they look quite similar so writing on where it's for um which is a good tip so um I'm going to cut out my elastic now it's supposed to be six millimeters and I've got nine millimeters um, I'm hoping it's not going to make too much difference so 
I'll have to see. Um, I actually found it quite difficult to find the right elastic. Um, I did look a while ago, but um, so I don't know if things have improved since then. But do, yeah, I just find it difficult. I know you can use that clear elastic, and I do have some of that clear elastic actually. So maybe let me just go and see that clear elastic. Oh no, that's 10 millimetres um, clear elastic that I've got. Don't know whether this is particularly good quality. I probably just got that from Amazon. So yeah. Um, shall we stick with this? Why not? Oh, it does say on the back actually, available in six millimetres and nine millimetres. Mm, maybe I should go online and try and get some more. Anyway, we'll, we'll work with what we've got for the time being because this is just a practice. So maybe if I'm just using the wrong width on the practice, um, I can then assess whether I actually need the um, six millimetre one. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. I've just put the neckband elastic in. So I thought I'd show you. I didn't get too many skipped stitches. Actually, you can see them quite clearly. Actually, I don't know why I've bothered to, to change the um, needles in my overlocker because I'm actually not using my overlocker all that much. So the idea is now, so you put the elastic just on the inside and then the idea is then to flip it from the outside to the inside and then now sew that down. So I'm going to do that next. But I thought I'd just show you how I've got on with that. It's not looking too bad. Actually, I should have read the tips that Helen put in about sewing with elastic, but I think it's an okay job so far. So let's flip it and sew that down. So yeah, I've got a little pucker. Can you see just there? And it's right in the centre front. Um, yeah, a little tuck. So I'm just going to unpick it around there and redo that bit. At least this is giving me confidence that it's not all going to come apart <laughs> while I'm um, swimming or something. Because it's quite difficult to unpick. So I've unpicked that bit now so we can stretch it out so there's no puckers in it. So I might do it from the right side just to make sure that I have got no puckers on the on the right side. Right, so that's the first um, elastic inserted in and that's how it looks so far. So just one down and how many to go? Four to go. So now I've finished doing the leg um, openings. So um, I've just got um looking rather good i don't know if you call those looking good so maybe they're looking a little bit rough around the edges but we've got the bottoms um the leg openings on the elastic done and i've also got the um the openings on the top done now so um i think we're ready to do the waistband and the underbust band so um let's see what's um next this is the bottom band and you attach the short sides together i've just done that using the overlocker now with wrong sides together we've got to baste um this and oh i'll just put um a snip in one end so then i can fold one of the seam allowances, one of the sides to one way and one of the sides to the other. So I'm just going to do that now. So I just put a little snip and it says to be careful not to stretch out the fabric when you're basting it together. Oops. <laughs> I've just done this wrong way. <laughs> I'm supposed to do it right, wrong sides together, not right sides together. I'm going to have to take this off. That's a pain. I will leave this in so you can see me making mistakes, which happens very frequently, believe me. My um, unpicker is my best friend. So I attached my um, waistband right sides together rather than wrong sides together. And I've just unpicked it all. 
so I'm just going to have switched it so it's right sides and facing out and wrong sides together and I'm just going to baste that now right so I've got the bikini on as you can see and I think it fits quite nice the only problem is I had to rip this seam to get it on over my hips um, yeah, it was really tight, even just pulling it on over my legs um, to get, yeah, to get it on. But I will show you it. There might maybe a couple of um, <laughs> loose threads. But there you go, that's it. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to resolve this issue of getting it on over my hips. Um, that obviously doesn't stretch very well. It might just be the stitching that I've used. So what I might do is I'll just try and overlock it and see if that helps. Now, the other thing is, though, I do think it's maybe a little bit high at the back because the um, band keeps folding down. Um, but I like the contrast band, I think that looks quite nice. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. The other thing that I think is like this bit here is fairly tight and around my arms is fairly tight. I think it's compression, compressed enough to give me quite a bit of support. So I'm back and in my um, bikini and um, yeah, I overlocked it, um, the waistband, and it is much easier now. I can slip it on and off. So that seems to have resolved the issue, which is great. So yeah, my swimsuit's done and I'm not going to um, top stitch it. One of the recommendations is to top stitch it if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do that because yeah, I might struggle again to get them on and off so yeah I am very happy with how it's looking and I'll just give you one little last twirl now I don't know whether hmm, do go, I've got a little bit of pulling here so I don't know whether that's just I don't know what that could be Maybe there's not quite enough stretch in this fabric. Um, it's not ultra stretchy. So um, hopefully, um, I'll just show you the other material that I've got um, to make some more swimwear. This is just like practice. Yeah, so I've got this material here. Actually, this feels a bit, a lot more stretchy actually. So. I think we're going to be okay to do it in this material. Um, let's see how much stretch that way. Oh yeah, it's got quite a bit of stretch both ways. I think this is going to work a little bit better um, as my swimwear fabric. So it's got blues, greens, pinks and black in it. And I absolutely love that material. This is Lady McElroy and it's from Sherwoods. And I also got this one, which I absolutely love as well. So it's got greens and blues and is kind of like a um, geometric pattern. And um, I think that that one's got quite a bit of stretch as well, both ways. So these are going to make some really nice um, bikini sets. And what do we think about mix, match, mix and matching them? What do you think? I think that actually could work, could it? I don't know. Mix the top and the bottom looking forward to getting some more swimwear done and I don't know why I've put it off for so long I mean I had this on my make nine all last year and I didn't um make it up and um been putting it off putting it off dreading it and actually it's gone well dare I say quite smoothly so very happy with my new bikini and hopefully if you've been putting it off too hopefully this has inspired you to give it a go and obviously if you make any adjustments to it like I've done doing a bit of grading or sway back adjustment or whatever 
then yeah, that would count towards my oh so me challenge. And then you'll have your swimwear ready for your holidays or for some nice weather um, wherever you are, if you get any. Um, yeah, it can be hit and miss in Manchester, believe me. Thanks so much for joining me on my journey, making some swimwear. I do really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>